Hi, this is Kara at Amico, and I'm one of the people who glazes the beautiful cups that you see in our ads for layering Potter's Choice glazes. Some customers have asked how we glaze those cups and if we do anything special to get the results you see, so I'm here to show you how I apply glaze. Once I've cleaned the cup with a damp sponge and put a rubber band on the foot for a resist, I use a hockey brush, a brush with long, soft bristles, loaded with glaze, and apply the glaze with long strokes. I think of this fluid application as floating or mopping. On small forms like these cups, I may not need to reload the brush with glaze more than once or twice, but for a large piece, I may need to reload the brush frequently to maintain a fluid application. For highly textured surfaces, I may need to wiggle the brush into the surface to make sure the glaze has gotten into all the corners. When applying Celadon or Chino glazes, I switch to a fan brush for a more even application of glaze. When the first coat is entirely dry, I apply a second, equally fluid coat with brush strokes perpendicular to the first coat. In layering, the second glaze is applied much the same way, waiting between coats for the glaze to dry completely. Once the glaze is dry, I remove the rubber band and fire the cups in an electric kiln at medium speed to cone 6 with a self-supporting witness cone. I usually put a two-minute hold on the firing to make sure the cone bends to a perfect 90-degree angle. I let the kiln cool normally. We spend a lot of time ensuring that the color in our ads is as accurate as possible, but some monitors or print sources may impact what you see. When trying a new combo, always test beforehand. Variations like clay body, kiln atmosphere, even the brush you use can affect your finished piece. Our Potter's Choice layering ads are meant to be an inspiration and jumping off point for your own adventures in glaze. Enjoy!